Hello YouTube friends. Today I am going thrifting and I thought I would take you with me and see if we can find some treasures. Their prices are out of control. $650 for a used sofa. Not, not a nice one. Now, you never know what you might find while thrifting, but you can always count on piles of baskets. I really liked this set of three prints, and I might go back for those. And I might go back for this bird print as well. This was a huge art piece for only $8, but it just wasn't my style. This little wooden piece reminded me of a DIY that I haven't finished yet that's in my garage, so now it's on my to-do list. I ended up buying this pair of quail figurines and this large winter painting. And I scored a cute lamp from the Goodwill. Of course, I had to stop in Michael's while I was out, and I found lots of goodies. I also found this photo frame. And this gold Christmas tree decor piece. I also picked up this adorable small wall cabinet, which we'll get a makeover in another video. And from that same store, I bought this gold and glass finial. I really scored with this huge decorative piece, and it will be getting a makeover today. And this heavy urn vase will be getting one as well. I will be painting this gorgeous green piece as well, although I almost hate to do it. It's so super cool with the vintage green vibe. These vintage ceramic roosters are from 1966 and they will be getting a refresh as well. And so are these two owls that were free from my sister. Now, for all of these thrift store makeovers, I'm going to be using the same painting technique, which is basically lots of layering. I am always drawn to texture and that old world patina found in European decor, especially French country. I had to remove the center glass to paint underneath and the glass broke, so I cleaned off all of the old glue and glued the circle frame back in place. Something this size would most likely be very expensive in Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So for only $8, I knew I could transform it into something that looked very high end and very French country chic. I made a DIY chalk paint using plaster of Paris and this flat Valspar paint in the color Fired Earth. I started off by painting one coat over the entire piece on the front only, but I may go back and paint the back side later on if needed. This is going to give us a good base to build our finish on. Chalk paint adheres to almost any surface without prep, but I always clean the surfaces with crud cutters gloss off.
And here is the first coat dried. Next, I'm adding an antique gold color using this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint. You can spray the entire surface or just certain areas for variation. I wanted a brighter gold, so next I'm spraying this Krylon metallic paint in the color Gold Leaf. You can spray as little or as much as you'd like. A lot of this is going to end up being covered. Next, I mixed Waverly chalk paint in truffle with a little bit of elegant charcoal for a gray-brown color. And here, I just dab the color on in a random fashion, leaving the gold shining through, but went a little heavier in the center. For the next layer, I used the color mineral and applied it in the same way. And then I applied a creamy white color using a drag brush technique to hit all of the raised detailing. You can see from this view how it adds highlights and dimension with very little effort. For the final color, I'm using Rust-Oleum chalked paint in linen white and only hitting the highest areas. After drying completely, I used sandpaper to lightly distress it and reveal the colors underneath. I then used this decorative glaze in Java Brown by Rust-Oleum for an aged antique look. I applied the glaze in the recessed areas and then wiped off any excess. You kind of have to just work with the piece until you are happy with the final look. I did spray this piece with a clear matte top coat, which you'll see me use later on on the other pieces. I really love how this turned out. I am super excited to use it in all of my displays throughout the year. For the next thrift store makeover and all of the ones thereafter, you'll see that I used the same paint technique, layering several shades of paint from darkest to lightest, unless you want gold underneath like the first piece. You truly cannot mess this up. I just keep adding until I am happy with the look, and then I add glaze and distress it.
you can always go back over the glaze with more paint, like I did here on this urn vase. And this piece got a matte clear coat as well. And guys, I really loved this green piece, but I just decided I wanted it to be a neutral color so that I could use it all year and in any room in my house. The raised scroll detail is just absolutely gorgeous. And so once again, I repeated the same process. If you like this type of aged patina, look for pieces that you love but have a little bit of a dated look and then just give them a refresh with paint and glaze. You probably even have a few pieces lying around your home that could use a makeover as well. One of the things that I really love about this process is that it makes it very easy and it's so inexpensive to get a high-end boutique look in your home on a tiny budget. Even if you don't particularly care for this European inspired French country look, you can adjust the colors to suit your style and taste and transform anything. And when you customize a piece by yourself, you'll have a one of a kind find that no one else will have in their home. This Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel is the top coat that I've been using on all of these pieces. It gives a great light matte finish. 
I just love the shape and size of these little roosters. These roosters are getting the exact same paint finish using the same technique as everything else. The only thing that I did a little bit differently is I scraped some of the paint off on the edges to give it more of a chippy look. I already had this wooden candlestick, but I wanted to refinish it as well in the neutral colors. And these pieces got a clear matte top coat also. Last up for a makeover were two owls from my sister in Pennsylvania who got a huge lot of them at an auction. She sent down an entire box full of awesome vintage owls and I've used several in my fall decor already. These two large ones weren't quite as pretty as the others so I decided to give them a makeover. This chandelier was an estate sale find last year. I paid $90 for it and I loved the shape and the scale for our kitchen's breakfast area. I used the same painting technique to make all of the detail really stand out. I really love how all of these thrift store makeovers turned out. I can't wait to incorporate them into my home decor displays, especially for Christmas. I really hope this video inspires you to go thrifting to find unique pieces that you can make over and refresh in this French country inspired finish. Look what I had also found at a thrift store for only $2, this beautiful angel with a European patina. Oh, and here is the princess of the house, Miss Maxine. She is the sweetest and smartest cat in the whole world. Please like this video if you did Leave a comment below, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.